What? You don't have to be embarrassed. I, I think it's sexy the way you go after what you want. I'm flattered it's me. Look, okay, let's get one thing straight. I am not available. And even if I was, you're not my type. You're conceited and a jerk and, frankly, unbearable. Okay, about unbearable. Uh, I was the other night at Jake's and, um, no, seriously, I, I'm sorry about that. I think you owe Spinelli an apology. Yeah. I, but, but first, I want to know why you're trying to get in my office. Well, even you don't deserve to lose everything you worked for over something that's not your fault. Are you talking about a malpractice case? Yes. What else? I'm trying to help you out with it. Well, how? Spinelli and I are working on the case, and there are a few things that don't add up. I'm starting to think that maybe you were at the wrong place at the wrong time, and someone who's guilty of something that's yet to be determined is just going to let you take the fall. So you're saying that you believe in me? No, this, no, this is good. Actually, we're really making progress. Don't get ahead of yourself. I think you're innocent. That doesn't mean I want to date you. Oh, okay. Fine. Well, before you go ahead and reject me again, why don't you try and find out something about me? Okay? You don't even have to talk to me. You can follow me on Twitter. Okay? Dr. Matt Hunter. You might even learn something interesting. Okay. I'll follow you on Twitter. But that's about it. Your wife has come to me twice, begging me and my brother to set a lawsuit out of court, saying that if we fight it, it will cause damage to your career that will be beyond repair. Andrea's right. She usually is. I ran as a law and order candidate. Sonny Corinthos and his merry band of mobsters have dealt a blow to that image. The fact that I cheated on my wife with my assistant, who ended up dead, would nail that into the ground. So yes, my career in politics would be over. Mm -hmm. Tragic. Not as tragic as a young woman enthralled with man and position and power going into an affair and meeting with a fatal accident. Especially if it wasn't an accident. What do you mean? Well, Mayor, I'm speaking to you as a doctor, also a man that's had plenty of shower sex. It was apparent to me right away that the head injury that Brianna sustained was much more serious than the story that you told us. The autopsy came back. Brianna suffered two head injuries in the exact same place. Two? How is that possible? Well, I was wondering that myself, and then I asked, maybe, you know, maybe Brianna was making demands that you didn't want to meet. Maybe she wanted to go public with the affair. And you wanted to take care of that, make it look like an accident. I don't even know what to do. I feel like the world's biggest hypocrite. Why? Because Michael is flailing. Right now, he's, he's, he's looking for an identity, a, a place where he fits in. That's understandable. I mean, he's a teenager. That's yeah, what they he's do, no, he's isn't no it? He's no ordinary teenager, Sam. He's Sonny's son. He's my nephew. He looks at what we do like it's, like it's EOQ, a family business handed down from one generation to the next. Yeah, I know. Unfortunate, but again, kind of understandable. I just, I, I really, I, I don't understand where you feeling like a hypocrite fits in in all this. Michael approached me about mentoring him. Just like I approached Sonny. I didn't, I didn't even want to hear it. I told him there's no way that it's going to happen. Okay, good. Then I hope you're not beating yourself up over this well, then. Well, just like Michael said, I'm the one who's always telling people they get to do what they want to do. You know, he's not old enough to do that now, but in a couple years, the kid's going to be able to do whatever he wants. So do I do to him what everybody did to me? Uh, well, you do not want him a part of the mob, do you? Hell no. Okay, then it seems to me keeping him out, giving Michael other viable options... Trump's feeling hypocritical any day of the week. Oh, hi. Hey. I was expecting to find Sonny in here, but I, I'm glad you're here. Can we have a chat? A chat? Come here. Sit down with me for a minute. In my shock and horror at um, seeing you and Christina at Jake's, 
I don't think that I expressed myself clearly, and I wanted to rectify that. No, I understood you loud and clear. No, you didn't, because I didn't come across very sensitively toward you. And I do care about you, Michael. I feel terrible for everything that you've been through, the injuries that you've suffered, the time that you lost, and I appreciate how much you're struggling to get through all that. I hope that you understand I was upset because you were in a bar ordering a drink and you asked my daughter to Christina it. wasn't drinking. Well, it, it was a place where drinks were sold and that's against the law. It won't happen again. Thank you, Michael. Christina's worked really hard at school and she's got really good grades. She's a good kid. She's set up a potentially very successful future for herself. I don't want to see that all messed up. I'm yeah, sure you can understand, I understand that because... I understand. I, okay. You don't want Christina's brain-damaged half-brother no. to oh mess up her nice, tidy future. And now you're going to order me no. to stay away from her. She can't order you to do a damn thing. Why don't you get something to eat and I'll take care of her, okay? You will not take care of me or anything that has anything to do with my daughter. And if you think that I don't mean that, you are mistaken.